Now this video is aimed at Christians. Ah, oh, fuck. But it's also good for people who aren't Christians. Wait, that's me. Maybe I should stay and listen to this. Persecution. Some of you may not have a clue what persecution is. I do. Do you? But basically, persecution is being tortured for something um, that you don't deserve to be tortured for. No, no, you don't know what persecution is, Daniel. This is what persecution is. To pursue in a manner to injure, grieve or afflict, to beset with cruelty or malignity, to harass, especially to afflict, harass, punish or put to death through adherence to a particular religious creed or mode of worship, to harass with importunity, to pursue with persistent solicitations, to annoy. So, whilst torturing people for unfounded reasons certainly is persecution, it's an extreme form. Torture is not a requisite. Now, in countries such as North Korea, their government say that if you are a Christian, and you are a follower of Lord Jesus, and you believe in God, then you are going to prison. You are going to be tortured, and it, there's a very good chance you're going to be killed if you are a Christian. And so we come to the main point of my video. How can you have a problem with Christians being persecuted when you can say shit like this? Homosexuality is wrong. It is immoral. It is filthy. It is ridiculous. It is devilry. It's evil. It's satanic. The problem with you, Daniel, is that more or less everything you say is complete bullshit, which makes it very hard to know what nonsense of yours I should refute next, but I don't think I can really go wrong with this. Sometimes God allows horrible things to happen. He doesn't cause the horrible things, but he allows the horrible things to happen. How can an all-powerful God, definitionally, if illogically, capable of anything, be said to not be the cause of every single event in the universe? If God allows things to happen, that means either A, he couldn't prevent them, which would make him not God, or B, he's the kind of twat who allows bad things to happen even though he could stop them. That makes him the cause. God must be the cause of everything in the universe. He must know every single thing that's going to happen and be in control of it. Otherwise, he's not all-powerful. For anything to fall outside his jurisdiction, for anything to be something which is not caused by God, well, suddenly we have a God which doesn't control everything. And that makes him not God. Now, before anyone forgets why we're here, here's a reminder. Homosexuality is wrong, it is immoral, it is filthy, it is ridiculous, it is devilry, it's evil, it's satanic.